Welcome to video number 16, mounting the heat bed. In this video we are going to take our heat bed, which we have already wired up, and we are going to mount it to the heat bed frame. Notice how I run the wires out the back side of the printer. Uh, that's really important. You don't want them coming out the sides and of course not the front, but yeah, make sure that you have the wires running out the back. I've actually seen them running out the side before, but this is definitely the way to do it. Uh, other than that, go ahead and take your four screws and go ahead and go ahead and insert them and once you get them through the heat bed, you can go and slide the springs on and use a flat washer to kind of staple the spring. Also, let me go and say that I did have to chop my springs in half because they were too long. You don't need them to be super long. You can see how short they are. But you want to have them, you know, at least long enough to where, you know, you can adjust the spring and get a pretty good range of lowering and raising uh, to give yourself you know the most flexibility once we go to level it as for now you're not gonna be able to get the height just right off eyeballing it uh, but try to keep it I guess pretty equal for now we're definitely gonna do a lot more work in this section later on My heat bed mount setup is different than the original tutorial. Unlike my first printer, I'm only using one aluminum heat bed, opposed to using a regular heat bed with a traditional glass plate, and that's what you're going to see on a lot of Prusa i3s. One bed is just easier to keep up with. Um, also, my tutorial is going to include spring mounting the bed as opposed to leaving it fixed. Most people have switched over to the spring mounted heat bed over the original because it's a lot easier to level your heat bed and it's a lot quicker. Uh, when we level the nozzle height later on, it'll only take a couple of turns on the springs in each corner to level it just right. And trust me, that's a lot easier than not having those springs. Uh, for this setup though, you're probably going to need longer screws than the M3 by 14 as it calls for originally. I'm using a mix match of different screws as you'll see in the video, but they need to be long enough to fit through the spring as well as the frame. Now there are different kinds of heat bed frames and if you can screw directly into the frame then you may not need a longer screw and that's good. But my frame uh, didn't have threaded holes I had to go all the way through the frame and then use a nut to fix it on the bottom. So it really just depends on your situation and which parts you have as to what you need to do in this step. Mm -hmm. 